Well, now we know your plan, and it's really exciting. I mean, other than the several hashtags that are now trending on social media. I thought you said you didn't pay attention to that stuff. I don't, but I am now. And honestly, it's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great that you're here. But you've ruffled a lot of feathers among fans and the NXT superstars who say you've just waltzed in and jumped the line. Their words. Shawn Michaels seemed happy with it. It's a huge match for NXT. But Shawn has had to take several calls from The Miz and his Mizzy and Troy about possible legal action. Not to mention this blowing up our plans for NXT Battleground. This is kind of a mess. I'm sorry you're having to deal with all this. That wasn't my intention. But knowing Miz, he's just full of hot air and it'll all blow over. Okay, but what do I tell the locker room full of angry wrestlers? You can tell them when I become NXT champion, I'll be happy to give anyone a title opportunity who feels I skipped the line. All right, I'll relay the message. After I delete these 17 voicemails from Troy. Man, that guy's annoying. Persistent, but annoying. The moment has arrived. Grayson Waller is ready to defend his NXT Championship against his toughest challenger yet, the WWE Universal Champion. Wait a minute, from behind, it's Wes Lee! Well, Lee was supposed to be next in line to get a title match at NXT Battleground. And it looks like he wasn't content to just complain about it on social media. I think the title match could be off. Any luck getting that uh, justice for Grayson hashtag trending? You should be more concerned with whatever stupidity Shawn Michaels is engaged in on social media. I mean, by the time he logs off and stops granting wishes, you could be in a battle royal next week. One on one, battle royal, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'm going to get my title match against you. Fair enough. And just so you know, it wasn't a coincidence running into you here today. I wanted to talk to you about this whole special referee thing. What about it? Honestly, I don't care who wins the bloody match between you and Wesley. But if you're really trying to one-up Roman Reigns, we could help each other out. What are you getting at? Johnny Gargano has been my personal nuisance for years now. 
So if you go give Gargano a thumping, then maybe I'm not so impartial in your match against Wesley if you get my drift. What do you say? I don't want your help because I don't need it. If you get my drift. Yeah, I get it. And clearly with this idiotic decision, you've drifted way off course from winning the match and getting the title shot against me. In the meantime, I'll be working on my fast counts. <laughs> Crooked ref or not, I'm winning this match. So think of it as your chance to get an up close and personal look at the guy who's gonna take your title. The man charged with keeping things fair, the fairly unjust Grayson Waller. The following contest is a special referee match. Please welcome the special referee for this match, Grayson Waller. Who will Grayson Waller favor in tonight's match? Knowing Waller himself, he'll do whatever it takes to put himself in the best position to defeat the winner of this match. Will the Grayson Waller effect have an effect on this match? We're about to find out. Well, this is a must-see kid of WWE. And the participants, first, from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee! Lee always has the heart of a champion, no matter what. Michael, we have seen that Wes always fights through adversity and faces any problems head on. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 120 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration for 